All that sports cars need is fast acceleration, high top speeds, and agility on the road. Believe it or not, but modern EVs can easily meet these criteria. And there are actually quite a few already existing models out there. Today, we are diving into the world of performance electric cars. So subscribe to the channel, ring that bell relentlessly, and let's get technical. In 2020, Porsche's first all-electric automobile arrives to the U.S. market in three modifications. While the entry-level Taycan 4S starts from $104,000, delivers 530 or 570 horses in overboost, and gets two battery sizes, 80 and 94 kilowatt hour. The Turbo and Turbo S models make 680 and 760 horsepower and are powered by the larger pack. All the models are capable to recharge from 5 to 80 percent in 23 minutes, with the 80 kilowatt hour 4S accomplishing this task using a 225 kilowatt charger and the rest requiring a 270 kilowatt one. The exact range of the Taycan 4S remains unconfirmed, but the Turbo and Turbo S are rated for 192 and 201 EPA miles. The second best-selling electric car of all time, Nissan LEAF, has long needed a performance configuration to have a chance catching up with Teslas. Sadly, the production date is not clear, but at least we have already seen a dual-motor all-wheel drive LEAF killing it on the test tracks in Japan. The front and rear-mounted EM57 motors bring out combined 394 horsepower and 502 pound-feet of torque a hot hatch level of performance by any benchmark. The test mule of this EV benefits from implementation of an independent brake control, gets enhanced regenerative braking setup, and a 12.3 inches display to monitor all of the systems. Audi will be the second brand within the VW Group to receive its own performance electric Grand Tourer. This four-door coupe is using the same J1 platform as the Taycan, so the technical characteristics of the two will be pretty similar. The Audi unmistakably DNA boasts of 590 horsepower channeled to the wheels through the signature Quattro all-wheel drive. The interior reminds us of the technological superiority of modern German cars, while also using vegan and recycled materials to highlight the sustainable nature of the vehicle. The key numbers for this Gran Turismo are 3.5 seconds to 60, over 200 miles range, and fast charging capability at 350 kilowatt. Unfortunately, Aston Martin's financial situation has been worsening for the past couple of years, which forced the iconic James Bond brand to scale down its future ambitions. 
The first pawn to fall on the Brit's chessboard is the gorgeous electric sports sedan Rapid E, co-developed since 2015 alongside Williams Engineering. The model was supposed to try on carbon fiber model bodywork to improve aerodynamics by 8%. The two rear mounted electric motors would have ensured rear wheel drive, 612 horsepower, 700 pound feet of torque, and below 4 seconds 0 to 60 sprints. The Rapid E project initially included 155 units, a number not that big, so hopes are it will be resurrected in the nearest future. The VW IDR was built on the new modular MEB platform that will underpin all of the EVs by the brand in the nearest future. Its task was to demonstrate the versatility of the skateboard chassis and plug-in powertrain that could be reconfigured to build electric vehicles of any body type, even supercars. This racer is not chasing the highest speed results. Instead, it is going after the record-breaking achievements on various tracks, doing 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.25 seconds and being extremely agile. It currently holds the title of the fastest car of the Pikes Peak Hill Climb and Goodwood Festival of Speed. This unique sports car was built on the basis of the award-winning Jaguar I-Pace crossover that was reworked by the company's SVO division. The model was specifically designed to compete in the Jaguar Arranged E-Trophy Championship where 20 drivers complete 10 races around the world on select Formula E weekends to determine the most skillful one. The first racing series concluded in summer 2019, while the second season is expected to end on July 26, 2020. All drivers get to sit behind the wheel of the 440 horsepower two-motor I-Pace that gets the same 90 kilowatt hour battery as the production car, but features the new thermal management system. The Spanish SEAT has been competing in rally and touring motorsports championships since 1970s, which finally resulted in the creation of the performance-focused Cupra brand in 2018. Its debut coincided with the premiere of the E-Racer, the company's first model and the world's first ever all-electric touring car. Based on the petrol-powered Leon Cup Racer, the sports car received four electric motors, producing 408 horses of continuous output and peaking at 680 ponies. This power is directed to the rear wheels, while the required juice is supplied 6,072 battery cells, which corresponds to 65 kilowatt-hour capacity.
The K50 Coupe by the Chinese automaker has been in production for more than three years now, but in 2020, it will be finally coming to the US roads. The model will be assembled and homologated in America, in partnership with the California-based company Mullen. The K50 sits on an aluminum frame, while most of its body parts are carbon fiber. The expected US specs are as follows. Peak power of 381 horses, torque of 428 pound-feet, and 0 to 60 time of 4.2 seconds. Currently, it is already available for pre-order with a reservation fee of $1,000 and starting price of $125,000. This electric supercar is arguably the most anticipated model within the EV community, since as claimed by the creators, it will make gasoline car completely obsolete. The Tesla Roadster will start production in late 2020 and priced at $200,000. It will definitely outshine Italian high-performance models. The acceleration to 60 should break the two-second barrier, clocking at 1.9 while the upper velocity limit will be set at 250 miles per hour. It must be mentioned that the sports coupe is powered by a new generation three-motor powertrain, has 620 miles of range, and will optionally come with 10 cold gas thrusters for improved driving dynamics in SpaceX trim. Thank you for visiting our channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, hit the like button, and don't think twice about watching more episodes about electric vehicles. The links are waiting for you on the screen. See you later.